Okay, so Andy Murray has uh, pulled out of the Australian Open with a hip injury. Um, second time in in a year it's happened. Um, it, it, I do worry about uh, welfare of, of, of participants of tennis because if you don't play, you don't get paid. And outside the top 20, the prize money drops off, and outside the top 100, the, the sponsorship drops off. So players... Uh, lower, lower ranks really suffer so Murray's lucky in that respect um, this injury could be career threatening um, it's not the first injury he's had for this hip he's had his ankles in the past uh, Djokovic was also out uh, and that's a different story that I could do a video on but I'm not a big fan of Djokovic so I'm not going to put the effort in Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm more of a fan of Murray because he's British and it's very rare that in British tennis we get a player that good um, on saying that I'm not knocking any tennis player because the effort they put in but the amount of injuries that they go through, I mean, Federer and Nadal were the, last, were the two that have missed the most time, and now it's Djokovic and Murray, so it's sort of going in a cyclical cyclical fashion. But I am deeply concerned about Murray's longevity. I think he's, out of those four, the one that probably... Federer will retire with age. I think he's got a season or two left, but out of the other three, Djokovic, Nadal and uh, Murray, I think Murray's the first one to retire due to injury, or retire soonest. Um, he's physically not as as able to recover from injury as the other two. Although Djokovic with his arm and elbow, that's another serious concern. But the top four have had a lot of injuries between them. Um, but yeah, Murray misses uh, on out at the Australian Open. Uh, it's a big blow. Um, I think he will miss possibly French Open, maybe even Wimbledon. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he misses the entire year because this is the second time he's had this injury, uh, hip injuries. I do work with someone who, who plays uh, amateur level ice hockey in this country. Um, he's, he's recovered from a similar hip injury which is actually a fall injury where he fell over during training. Uh, he's a goalie. Um, he fell heavily on his hip, he hurt his hip quite severely. He's missed nearly three months when he comes back. So, and that's with all, you know, a lot of padding on a lot of uh, body armour because ice hockey goalies have a lot of padding. Um, but so I can only assume this is a training injury that Murray has sustained, and he keeps aggravating it because, I, as far as I'm aware, he hasn't had a heavy, heavy fall on his hip in a match because it would have been reported. So we have to assume that it is a a, a training injury, and it is worrying. I'm saying that he's out. There's not a lot we can do. How long he goes out for, we don't know. So um, I'm gonna leave it as that. Uh, I could do a video on how tennis has got some issues with the welfare of the athletes, but uh, it, it all said and done, um, that is going to be a very lengthy video if I was to do it, and we shall have to see if there's an interest on this one first. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for watching, please like and subscribe, place your comments below, and just give us your views on what you think on the Murray injury, and the Djokovic one as well, because um, they are two big name stars in the sport that uh, thrives off rivalries at the top and it is sad to see Murray struggle like this but the way he plays the game he put he does play through a lot of injuries where he could possibly if that's another player they pull out sooner so part is it with coaching part is it with mentality um, but yeah I'll have some more videos for you soon thank you very much for watching